Great morning, afternoon, evening, mini mathematicians. So happy you could be here today. We're going to be continuing on with 6.1a lesson, triangle, angle, and side relationships. This is going to be a three-part lesson with three different activities, handouts, and a Desmos lesson. So please pause the video for four minutes to write down the purpose of this lesson. Thank you for pausing the video for four minutes. Activity one, we're going to be reviewing triangle, angle, and side relationships. So we're going to be using this diagram, and we're going to find a name following using this figure. So when we are naming a triangle, we are going to go um, in order. So I could say that this triangle here, this right triangle, is QPO, or I could also call it OPQ. You can also call it POQ. So just remember, um, we want to make sure we're naming the triangle correctly. So taking a look, we want a scalene obtuse triangle. Well, scalene, what does scalene mean? It has to do with side lengths. What is it? That's right. It's when all three sides are a different scale. Obtuse, obtuse means one of the angles is going to be greater than 90 degrees. Well, taking a look, do you see any triangles that could be scalene obtuse? Well, let's see. It looks like maybe LBC triangle could be a scalene obtuse. It's definitely obtuse. Let's double check that with our protractor. Looks like that angle B is definitely more than 90. And now we also probably want to measure, because I'm not sure if LB and BC are different lengths. So let's double check. Looks like BC is just over one and a half, not quite to two. And BL looks like it's really close to two. It's like two, and then this one looks like it's maybe one and a half. So my triangle, LBC is scalene and obtuse. Okay, we're going to find another triangle that's isosceles and obtuse. Do you remember what isosceles means? Isosceles means that one of the sides is isolated. So two sides are the same length and one side is a different length. Obtuse means that there's going to be an angle that's greater than one than 90 degrees greater than 90 degrees one of the angles so let's take a look so we want to find isosceles two sides that look like they're the same and greater than 90 well maybe this triangle m n o maybe m n o is going to be isosceles obtuse so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the largest angle here, lining this up, and it looks like if I line up on the zero, I'm going to measure this way. I want to use my inside numbers, and it looks like that number is going to be definitely, it's going to be about 120 degrees, so definitely more than 90. And I want to make sure that MN and NO are the same length and MO is a different length. So if I measure MN, it looks like to be one and a half. And if I measure NO, it looks like to be one and a half again. Well, that's great. And let me make sure that MO, yep, definitely bigger than one and a half. So it's not equilateral. So I found that triangle MNO is isosceles and obtuse. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to find an isosceles right triangle, a parallelogram. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel, meaning that they're not going to intersect each other. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape that has one pair of opposite sides parallel and the other two that are not. So a trapezoid could look like that. A trapezoid could look like this. So that's what a trapezoid means. It has one set 
of opposite sides that are parallel and then one set that are not. And then a rectangle that's not a square. So you're going to have a quadrilateral with 90 degree angles and opposite sides are parallel and they meet um, their congruent lengths across from each other. So let's pause the video for four minutes while you find those values. Thanks for pausing the video for four minutes. Okay, let's see how we did. Taking a look at an isosceles right triangle, isosceles means two sides are the same and one is isolated. So I use triangle OPQ right here, OPQ and I had a right angle right there. So that's one of the isosceles right triangles you could have found. Maybe you and your group found another isosceles right triangle. Then we had to find a rectangle. A rectangle that's not a square. Well, one rectangle that's not a square I looked at is ADPK. Another one I looked at is AEGJ. So this entire rectangle, and it's not a square. One of the parallelograms I found, maybe you found another parallelogram, is KIHQ. So notice opposite sides are parallel to each other, and we're not meeting at right angles. And I found two trapezoids. One trapezoid I found was P-O-M-K, and another trapezoid I was looking at was O-D-E-F, so there's another one. And maybe you found another one with your group. Ooh, I just saw another trapezoid, another trapezoid right here, C-D-O-M. Lots of trapezoids in that picture. Excellent. So let's keep going. The next set of directions say classify each triangle by side and angle. And this is not drawn to scale. So I'm going to pause the video for three minutes while you finish classifying each triangle by side and angle. Thank you for pausing the video. Okay, so let's take a look at how we did. Our first triangle is equilateral and acute. I noticed when I used my protractor or I noticed that when I saw these lengths that they are all equivalent, so equilateral, all three equal side lengths, and acute, and don't forget your triangle symbol or the word triangle, because it's an equilateral acute triangle. Then the next one is an isosceles obtuse triangle. I noticed that two of the sides are the same, one length is isolated, and this angle is greater than 90 degrees. And sometimes what I like to do is think about drawing in a 90 degree angle and think is it greater than or less than 90 degrees. Isosceles obtuse triangle. Awesome work. Let's look at the next one. The next one we have three side lengths that are different lengths, so scalene, and it's right, so it's a right triangle. And our last one is an isosceles acute triangle. We have two side lengths that are the same, one that is isolated or different, and this is an acute triangle because all the angles are less than 90 degrees, an isosceles acute triangle. Great work. Awesome. The next set of directions say true or false. Explain your reasoning. If false, explain why it is false. Number 11, it says an isosceles triangle can also be a right triangle. So I'll do 11 with you and then you can talk about the rest of them with your group. So an isosceles triangle means two side lengths are the same and a right triangle means that it has to be 90 degrees. So I know it has to be 90 degrees and we saw in the previous lesson that if the largest side length is opposite the largest angle. So 90 degrees. And then that means if it's an isosceles, these two sides have to be the same, which means the angles opposite have to be equivalent as well. So that would be a 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. That would be an isosceles right triangle. That makes this a true statement. It's possible that an isosceles triangle can also be a right triangle. 
Wonderful. I'd like you to talk about 12 through 16 with your groups. Decide if they're true or false. If false, explain why. Try to draw a picture to justify your reasoning. Please pause the video for five minutes as you work on 12 through 16 with your groups. Thank you for pausing the video for five minutes. Okay, let's see how we did. If two angles in a triangle are 40 degrees and 35 degrees, the triangle must be acute. Well, I drew a picture. I knew two of the angles and I was missing one. What do you know that all three angles in a triangle always add up to be? They always add up or sum to be 180 degrees. That means I can set up this equation to solve for my missing angle and see if it has to be acute, then this angle also needs to be, that's right, less than 90 degrees. What's 35 plus 40? 75. 75 plus x is 180. Subtract 75 from both sides, and x is 105 degrees. If my missing angle is 105 degrees, does this make the triangle acute or obtuse? It makes the triangle obtuse. So this is going to be false. The third angle is greater than 90 degrees, making the triangle, what type of triangle? That's right, obtuse. Perfect. Great job, you guys. Let's take a look at the next one. An acute triangle has three sides that are all different lengths. Well, that's saying all acute triangles have three sides that are all different lengths. So if I find one counterexample where it's an acute triangle that not all of them are different lengths, that's either isosceles or equilateral, then I can make this a false st statement. And this is called a counterexample. And this is indeed false. My counterexample is an equilateral triangle. It has three sides that are equal, equilateral, and all the angles are 60 degrees. It's an equilateral acute triangle. So that is a counterexample. That means that this statement is false. 15. A scalene triangle, scalene, all three sides are different lengths, can be acute, all angles are less than 90, triangle as well. Well, it's saying it can be, so is this true or false? That's true. So if the sum of all three angles, are all, which are all less than 90, and all are different, add up to be 180 degrees. So that's true, 65, 80, and 35, they add to be 180, and because each angle is different, each side length will also be different. The largest one will be across from 80 degrees, the medium one will be across from 65, and the smallest one will be across from 35. 16. A scalene triangle has three angles less than 90 degrees. That means that all scalene triangles, do all scalene triangles, all three angles are less than 90 degrees? Are they all scalene acute? No, you can have a scalene obtuse right triangle, or you can have a scalene, sorry, you can have a scalene obtuse, or you can have a scalene right triangle. So 30, 60, 90 triangles would be a scalene right triangle and a 40, 30, 110 triangle would be a scalene obtuse triangle. Excellent job. We're going to end this activity and start our Desmos activity. So take this time to log on to your Desmos for 6.1a and we'll start the second video to finish activity two. Thank you for logging on to the Desmos and starting our second video.